Hello everyone, and thanks for watching this Flip Normals exclusive. My name is Emil Sligas, and I will be your instructor for this course. This course will all be about smart materials, although some people just call them procedural materials. In a nutshell, what we will be covering in this course is on how to create a highly flexible and optimized material using Substance Designer. We will start this course off by going over an example of what a smart material is. Then, we will of course go over our reference and have a look at how we are going to approach this material. At this point, we are ready to start working on our material. Next to creating our actual material, some of the key focus points we have is on how to keep our graph clean, our nodes optimized and building in flexibility in our material so that we can easily change it later on. We will first focus on our tile shapes and crack generation. Then we will create a very nice stone generator that we can use along with some other noise to create our surface noise. Once this is done, we will already move to our base color and roughness, even before we are going to do our foliage. The reason I like to do this is because I first want to have a very solid looking material and then I can always add the foliage later on. Which is exactly what we will be doing after our base colors. We will be creating our branches and leaves and combining those together to create an interesting and flexible foliage generation. After that we will finish things off by creating our foliage base colors and doing general material polish. Also, while we are creating our material, we will be working on also creating a mom set render scene just to showcase our material. And we will be exposing a lot of values in our material throughout this process so that we can easily change our material by the push of a button. We will finish this tutorial off by creating a few different presets so that we already have some very different looking materials which we can easily switch between. And then I will show you a real time use case of smart materials because I want to show you the power of creating these type of materials in substance. I will do this by adding these materials that we've just created in Unreal Engine 4 and using them in a environment. This is just a very quick recap of everything that we will cover in this tutorial course. In general, we will be covering so much vital information that it would simply be too much to tell you in this one video. So I invite you to have a look at our course description and I hope that you will enjoy this tutorial course. Once again, my name is Emil Sligas and thanks for watching this Flip Normals exclusive.